On this week's edition, we're going to tell you about progress at the Liberty Place project, as well as how the uh, garage is getting built here. All right, so I'm here today with Mr. Tom Wack. Uh, Tom is one of the principal developers of the Liberty Place project behind us here in downtown Fredericksburg. And he's, his company, WAC General Contractor, is also the, the contractor building this, uh, this garage here that will support both the Liberty Place and the Williams Square project. So why don't we start with Liberty Place. Tom, just tell us, tell us what you're building and what's going to be at Liberty Place. Well, it's 43,000 square feet. The first floor is primarily restaurants, uh, Mellow Mushroom. Pasta Fresca Cafe, Blue Cow Ice Cream, uh, Burger Batch, and uh, we hope uh, the Cocky Rooster here very shortly. Uh, upstairs, uh, two levels of office space, Atlantic Union Bank, Cary Street Partners, Fit 20, and uh, a nonprofit uh, will be taking about 3,000 feet. And uh, what's the timeline for, for the Liberty Place project being completed? Uh, right now, we're looking at the end of July for uh, the shell improvements and the first tenant spaces will be coming online at the beginning of August. Okay. So this garage here, we've been watching this go up and it's really fascinating how it's getting built. I know I understand it's about 322 parking spaces. Um, describe how this, describe the construction for this, like how, how this is getting done. Well, the first thing we did was dig a hole. Uh, then we put in 225 geo piers, uh, which are a ground improvement uh, method for carrying all the heavy loads that this uh, garage is going to impart to the earth. Um, then we did the cast in place foundation. And while that all that work was going on, up in Winchester, Virginia, Shockey Precast was uh, casting all of these parts. We have been designing this building for probably a year prior, uh, making sure that uh, everything fit together just so, um, making sure all the panels had the anchor bolt holes in the right place and the anchor bolts were in the right place in the foundation. April 6th, roughly, uh, we started assembling the crane behind us, uh, which came in in 25 tractor trailer loads and took another crane to help build. Uh, and then uh, the following uh, week, they started erecting the panels. So what you're looking at here is uh, just shy of three weeks of work. And we anticipate that in another three weeks, uh, we will have the, the superstructure erected. That's amazing. So basically, the, 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 all the panels, the walls and the floors were all built elsewhere and then brought yeah. here to be They have massive sheds where they cast all these panels. So the, each of the panels is mostly concrete, but uh, the exterior facing is real brick that's just been sliced down to a half an inch thick, laid into a form liner, and then uh, whatever mortar color you choose becomes the first layer of concrete they pour over the brick, and then the gray concrete, uh, the structural concrete, goes in over that. Uh, the uh, elements that you see that look like precast window sills and cornices uh, are actually cast concrete uh, in the same panel. And so that's, uh, for instance, the panels closest to us here that you see braced off, that's one piece from foundation all the way to the uh, parapet. Contrast that with if you were building it on site from the ground up, how long would it take to build something like this? Ground up, we would be doing uh, formed uh, flat slab concrete and uh, poured walls. Uh, and you're looking at a five month job just for the concrete work. And then to skin it with real brick would be at least another three months. Uh, significant time savings by uh, erecting it this way. Yeah, so the pieces are being brought in through the, where the Freelance Star used to be, right? So the demo of that was an important part of what allowed the garage to be built. Very much so. Uh, Shockey needs to be able to stage uh, a dozen loads of uh, material here a day. The timing uh, and the cooperation with the Vacos companies has worked really well. Uh, getting the Freelance Star demolished opened up an area that gave us plenty of room to maneuver the trailers around. Uh, where we're standing right now will be part of the Winchester Place apartments. You know, Tom mentioned the Vacos companies. Of course, the, they've got some additional plans for uh, hotel and, and residential on the, where the Freelance Star was. So the Liberty Place and the garage and the Williams Square project and the Winchester Place project is really just an amazing transformation of our 
uh, of our entry corridor into our downtown. So we're so excited to see this all playing out amid, obviously, kind of the difficult business climate that we've got right now. It's been great to see this still going on. <clears throat> well, we can't wait to see the Liberty Place and Williams Square and all this get open. So um, kudos to you for everything you're doing to, to bring this, to revitalize Fredericksburg and to do all this amid a difficult time. So we can't wait to see Liberty Place thriving and the garage full of cars and uh, everything back to normal here. So all right. Uh, so thanks, Tom, for joining us. Make sure that you know he's the big cheese. Uh, so uh, that'll do it for this week's edition. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to get an email every time we put out a new video. See you next week.